Marcus Stroman's been as good a starter as we've seen in the major league so far this year. Yeah, indeed. A uh, very compelling case to be the pitcher of the month here. Dodger fans making some noise. Cup fans trying to shout him down. So Betts climbs in. Great oh, pitch. And he comes back with that. That is not fair. Freddie Freeman will dig in after a two for five Saturday. Freeman back up the middle, but there is Dansby Swanson. He got a piece of Strowman. He must see to start at third base. Nine of his last 13 hits are home runs. Broke his back ground ball. Nico Horner edge of the grass throws him out. And an easy one, two, three inning. Clayton Kershaw, 35 years young, but a lifetime 2-4-8 ERA. And he sustained his excellence. Hey, Mookie Betts is getting his first career start at shortstop. The other night we saw him come off the bench, play the infield, and he said that it was a dream come true. Nico Horner to lead it off for the Cubs. No score first inning. Bounce to third, and it gets past Muncie down the left field line. Horner around first, going to second, and he is going to be safe. Muncie stayed back. Let the ball play him, and he could not glove a backhanded short hop play. And now, for the first time, we get Kershaw against Bellinger. Cody has reached base in all six games he's played against his former club. Cubs looking to strike first. Line drive, slicing out into left center. That's a base hit. Here comes Nico around third. Outman throw offline. Bellinger into second, and the Cubs have the lead. Cody Bellinger with an RBI single against his former mate. Suzuki 10 for 30. Here's a line drive and a base hit left center, and this is going to score another run. Bellinger around third. Suzuki hesitated and then makes his way back to first. RBI single for Saya. It's 2 0. One ball, one strike on Outman, who has set a Dodger rookie record seven home runs before May. Outman down the line fair. He'll head for second. The throw from Suzuki. Well late. Oh, and out double for Outman. Yeah, if the only baseball you had watched this season was this series here at Wrigley Field, you'd say James Outman is the best baseball player in the world. One out man at second. Stroman ready. Here's a 2 2. Line out towards left center, and Bellinger over and makes the catch. Stroman ready, fires. And that's the first. Hosmer is there. Stroman gets over. And that ends the inning. The Dodgers get a one out double from Outman, but they do not score. So one away and Jan Gomes with a chance to hit. Grounds the 1-1 one, one pitch to Mookie Betts. First play of the day for the Dodgers shortstop. Everyone was excited to watch him play shortstop. Mookie was the most excited, of course, and shows his athleticism. There's no panic, right? I mean, Mookie Betts understands he's got a lot of time. I mean, I'd like to see what happens when there's a fast runner, but God, he makes that look so easy. And the Dodgers are going to try and crack the code that's been Marcus Stroman in 2023. Two runs allowed all season, and both came in the same inning. 1-1. Stroman. Gives it up to Barnes. That's hit number two on the year. Two's company. Mookie struck out in the first inning. So he's now nine for 40. Lifetime against Marcus Stroman. Betts puts one in the air. Deep to left field. Betts ties the game. That's number three on the year for Mookie. And we're tied at two in the third. It is a heater and that two seamer has been very effective but that one was slightly up it didn't have the depth in the movement and it was right there above the knees where Mookie just killed it didn't hit it 100 miles an hour but hit it hard enough at 97 and a half ball game back to even tied at two and here's Freddie Freeman Stroma to pay off pitch to Freeman in there got him looking and career strikeout. Number 1,000 for Marcus Stroman. There he goes. The announcement goes up on the big board. Fans applaud, and Marcus responds. Applauding the, uh, the faithful here at Wrigley Field. If you're wondering, he's reached in 18 straight games. The error does not count. There you go, Boog. You got it, the on base. And now he's been on base 19 straight games. Gomes. Bounce to short in his first at bat. 229 on the young season, three home runs. In the air, left field, Jan Gomes 
Got him. Home run, and it's 3-2. Well, we talked about it earlier. Jan Gomes in his career as a guy who's beaten up lefties. This is not your average lefty on the hill, but nevertheless, Gomes, the home run, is fourth. J.D., what's that feeling, right? I saw Clayton Kershaw through the pitch and went down to a knee. Like, he knew. Like, yeah, you know right away. You know. Yeah. Freddie Freeman to stand in. Four pitch walk to lead off the six for the Dodgers. Here's Muncie now with a man aboard. Stroman's 2 2. Max Muncie. Deep right field. Max Muncie, man on fire. Off the scoreboard. And the Dodgers lead 4 3. Mad Max is at it again. This is a bit out on the avenue without that scoreboard in the way. His last 14 hits, 10 have been round trippers. That's a joke. Now, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez goes back to back with Max Muncy. The Dodgers knock around the National League ERA leader Marcus Stroman in this one. It's Cody Bellinger against Clayton Kershaw to begin the bottom of the six. Dodgers now up to. Ripped by Bellinger. Jason Hayward takes it away. Right back at you, Cody. Well, we've been waiting for Jason Hayward to have a <laughs> Wrigley Field moment at the plate. Well, he has always been known as consistently one of the best defenders in baseball. And you know what? Your Wrigley moment in a Dodger uniform is with the glove. Base is empty. Two out. Left field Muncie is out there. He gives way and diving in Peralta it spills out of his glove. Well that could be big. Tying run will come to the plate. Well maybe we found something that Mookie can't do right. I mean a lot of times you'll see the shortstop maybe get that ball the left fielder. It's a really tough play for Max Muncie. But the communication those aren't two guys that probably communicate in that area very often. And here's Mookie saying to Bellinger I was going to catch that. <laughs> He called it. You're welcome. Former teammates having a, a word with one another. That's grounded to second base. And that will do it. I think he's grounded out twice and flew out once. On the first pitch, lines a base hit to left field. Draws a two out walk. Have a day. First big league start at shortstop, home run, your second at bat. Mookie does swing, ripping a ball to left field. It gets down and all the way to the Ivy. Vargas scores. Barnes will two. 7 3 LA. And on a chilly Sunday afternoon, the Cubs find themselves down four. And wisdom is aboard. So a good start here to the bottom of the ninth. As Trey Mancini steps in. Swing and a ground ball foul toward the Dodger dugout. And catcher's interference. Hit the glove of Barnes and on his way to first base is Mancini. That's what happened. Oh, well, that's a player the and it'll fall for a hit. Gomes the other way and they are loaded. Listen to this ballpark. Crowd coming to life. Madrigal on the ground to Mookie at short. The flip to second for one. That's two. 7 3 the final. The Dodgers, for the first time since April 3rd to the 6th, have won consecutive games.